just solved this boat in half. I taped my shoes to the ceiling. That's the power of flex tape. Hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're not talking about the sham wow guy. We're not talking about Billy Mays. We are talking about the guy who sawed a boat in half and then taped it together and sailed across a lake. Oh yeah, the man, the myth, the legend, Phil Swift. But I recently saw a new video about flex cock. That's right, children. I said cock. Get your mind out of the gutter. So today we're going to be checking out the new flex cock commercial and the classic flex tape commercial and be sure to stick around till the end of the video because I'm actually going to be trying out flex tape for myself to see if it works. And how am I going to do that? Well, I guess you'll have to stick around to find out. How's that for a cliffhanger? But anyways, let's start off with the flex tape commercial because that one's just a classic. Hi, Phil Swift here for flex tape, the super strong waterproof tape. All of these tape commercials have to have some sort of massive smacking of some water to really emphasize that the tape works so well. Flex tape's powerful adhesive is so strong it even works underwater. Every time there's ever a flex tape commercial or any sort of flex commercial, you'll see that they have to say that it absolutely works underwater. How many times have you ever had a problem and been like, man, I need to tape something up under this water right now, but I don't know how the heck to do it. Flex tape is your go-to, like go for it. Now you can repair leaks in pools and spas without draining them. Flex tape is perfect for marine, campers, and RVs. I could actually see a lot of people trying to use flex tape to seal up the hole in their pool. I could also see the average human possibly not doing it right and the pool just totally leaking out anyways because every time they show the tape being used in this commercial it's being applied perfectly so therefore it works perfectly but when we buy this product we're an average person we don't know how to apply this tape correctly you try to seal up the pool leak that's not gonna work too well if there's even a little wrinkle in there that's just a disaster waiting to happen I don't like that flex tape is super strong and once it's on it holds on tight. That's really cool and stuff, but I have no idea why I would ever need to strap my tape to a 45 pound weight and then dangle it above the ground for any reason. It seems like this tape is being used in every way other than what actual tape is used for. This tape helps you tape stuff underwater. It helps you dangle 45 pound weights above the ground and it helps you with auto repair. And for emergency auto repair, flex tape keeps its grip, even in the toughest condition. Yeah, this is where you get me a little bit messed up. I have no clue how in any way Way this would help patch up a bumper and hold it together, especially in bad conditions. I don't know how it could be that strong. But if you thought that was all Phil Swift was gonna say this tape does, no, that's not all. I saw this boat in half and repaired it with only flex tape. Not only does flex tape's powerful adhesive hold the boat together, but it creates a super strong watertight seal. So the inside is completely dry. Okay, so he saws a boat in half and he uses flex tape on the bottom and flex tape on the top to get this boat to somehow go on the water and stay together. I can't describe to you the possibilities of how many ways this could go wrong, but there are a lot of them. Can you imagine if somebody actually tried using flex tape to put their boat back together after it got cut in half? Maybe if I was on a deserted island and all I had was logs to strap together, I would maybe use some flex tape to try to hold it together. But if your boat gets sawed in half, maybe you should just buy a new boat. But after seeing this ad again recently, I thought to myself, how about I go to Home Depot, buy some flex tape, and see if it's actually all it's cracked up to be. Welcome to the Creation Station. My name is Ryan, and the Creation Station is just my kitchen, and I also can't speak coherent sentences, but hey, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Now, I'm here today to try out this flex tape. It apparently works underwater. It apparently works when you saw a boat in half. So will it work if I cut a hole in this bucket, fill it up with water, and then try not to flood my kitchen? After I've cut a hole in this bucket, I'm then going to put tape on the hole and fill the bucket up with water. If the kitchen floods with water, we know the flex tape doesn't work. After that, we're going to test the theory of if you saw a boat in half, will the tape still work? By sawing this bucket in half and then taping it down the side, filling it up with water and seeing if it works. All right, so we have our tape. We're gonna smack it onto this hole right here. Make sure that it's sealed. We want it to be nicely on there. The tape is covering every single side. All right, now this bucket is completely full of water right now. I am risking my technology. I am risking everything I have because I cut this hole out of my bucket. Look at this here. The water is full to the brim. It's not leaking, guys. It's looking pretty good right now. So I'm actually very impressed with the first step here. It's not leaking at all. The bucket looks like it works. And uh, yeah, phase one is a success. I'm able to tap it. All right, now it's time to move to phase two where I'm going to saw this entire bucket completely in half and then tape the bucket and then fill it up with water again to see if that works. I'm sawing through it. That's so satisfying to cut through a bucket. If you've never cut through a bucket, you might want to try it. Woo! 
It just goes straight through. All right, we now have cut this bucket in half. So now with the power of flex tape, we're gonna try to see if we can make this bucket bucketable again by taping it up and seeing if it still can do bucket things. You hear me, flex tape? I don't want a single leak here, you understand? All right, so as you can see, we've taped all the way around our crack. That sounded kind of gross. That's not good, that's not good. I have no words to tell you how nervous I am about this right now. I don't, I don't know how well this is gonna go. I may have water all over my floor. So I'm leaking so bad right now. This is really not going well. The bucket is leaking so bad out of the bottom where we taped it. It's not working at all. And I need to go get the towels right now because this is not going well. Like it's pretty flat and right now it's leaking so bad. My hand is dripping water. I've got to get rid of this. My gosh. <laughs> Look, I get that I might not have taped it perfectly. It might not have been 100% flat or 100% on, but here's the deal. If this bucket was leaking water that badly out of the bottom, how the hell do you expect me to believe that you sawed a boat in half and then put flex tape on it to be on the water? So I'm not so sure about this whole flex tape thing anymore, but I have only one more test to do today and that's taping stuff to the ceiling. That is after I clean up all the water that's on my floor. So as you can clearly see, I tape my shoes to the ceiling and uh, yeah, you could say that it went well because so far they've been up there for about five minutes and they're not coming down. Shoe number one and shoe number two are still on there very well and who knows how long my shoes will be up there. So in honor of Phil Swift, I just want to say this one thing. I tape my shoes to the ceiling. That's the power of flex tape. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for, thank you for indulging me in my silly experiments. I guess I'll see you back in the room now, okay? Welcome back. That was such a fun time, wasn't it? Now that we went ahead and took a look at Flex Tape, let's go ahead and take a look at Flex Cock. Now, the new commercial that came out just a couple months ago. I'll tell you, caulking with a caulking gun, that could be a real pain in the butt. Talk about old and outdated. Now we're going to play the game for the rest of the video of how many times can you guys hear the word cock without getting uncomfortable. You know, I never really think of a caulking gun and think, man, this is a real pain in the ass. I just think, yeah, it's a caulking gun and that's how you cock things. But I never cock ever. I never cock anything. So I, I guess I wouldn't know. Did you know that the caulking gun was invented over 130 years ago? You still gotta cut the knob, poke a hole in the cartridge, load the cartridge in the gun, and squeeze and squeeze until your hand hurts. And when the caulk finally comes out, you get this big ugly glob. Well, yeah, you get that big ugly glob if you're just globbing the whole thing out in one big pile on the ground. But if you're actually trying to use it right, you can still do it correctly. Also, what about that cool transition there? Anybody notice that? He says in the commercial that you're squeezing so much that your hand starts hurting. But if you're the kind of person that needs to caulk something, I'm pretty sure that your hand doesn't hurt that easily. It keeps running and dripping. It makes a total mess. Is anyone else feeling a comfortable by the gross noises in this commercial or is it just me? Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Caulk. Wow, Phil's really stepping up his game if you learned how to teleport since the last commercial. That's what I need. I need some Flex Teleport. I need whatever the heck Flex is giving Phil Swift here that he's able to teleport. Just push the trigger and you get a perfect bead every time. Not gonna lie, this commercial is kind of like those oddly satisfying videos you find on the internet where you just kind of look at something really weird that you're not used to seeing and it's, and it's weirdly satisfying. There's no other way to explain it. Phil's a natural with the cock. Ordinary caulks? They shrink and become brittle, but flex caulk expands and contracts and stays completely flexible. Are you telling me right now that if I get a long enough piece of flex cock, I'll be able to actually do jump rope with it? Because if so, sign me up. I'm down. Let's do this thing. I'm going to create a new product called flex jump rope. Flex caulk has incredible adhesion and bonds to all types of surfaces. It even works underwater. I honestly think they're advertising to people who live underwater because these are all products that work underwater. What do they think? We live in the city of Atlantis or something? No. Forget those ordinary caulks and throw away that caulking gun. Firstly, badass. I cannot believe he nailed that shot. I also want to know how many takes it took to hit that. It probably took at least 45 to 50. I love how Phil Swift has just taken the momentum from many years ago with those commercials and just rode it all the way through and is still doing commercials with them to this day. It's so awesome. There's no running or dripping or freaking mess. Huh? Turn it down for pinpoint precision. Mother, father. Turn it down for pinpoint precision. You know that this Flex company knows that they're on top of the world and that they've made it when they're sticking blooper reels of Phil Swift in their videos. Never in my life did I think I would see a blooper reel of an infomercial for a product. But honestly, if anyone's gonna do that in an infomercial and have success, wouldn't it be Phil Swift? I mean, come on. But I wonder how my shoes are doing. Hey everyone, just chilling in my house. It's been about three hours since I taped these to the ceiling and they are still there. So I think that's a good sign about how the tape works and uh, that it actually actually is pretty strong. Can you do this real quick for me? Cause I'm at four, I'm at four. 
I'm at 4% on my phone. So it's been a day and this tape is starting to come off right here. So I'm not 100% sure if this flex tape is actually all it's cracked up to be. You know, if you're gonna tape your shoes to the ceiling, you want a reliable tape that's gonna help stick, you know? For any of you wondering, the first shoe fell after two straight days and I ended up just removing the other shoe after that. For any of you wanting to use the power of flex tape to tape your shoes to the ceiling, just know it'll last about two to three days. But if you can get more than that, congratulations. You're just a better flex taper than me. Either way, I'm really glad you joined me today to talk about these flex products and talk about Phil Swift and his legendary infomercials. I also hope you enjoyed me testing out the tape. If you enjoyed this video, there's a video on your screen right now that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you're going to enjoy watching next, so you should click on it right now. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time with whatever crazy thing I think I want to talk about. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.